Well, the, the 8D is really the successor to the Double Pro, which was extremely popular. Uh, it's the big sister to the 5D3, so it's bigger, better, bolder is, uh, is, is the, what we're going for. It's faster, it has more, more capacity than uh, the 5D3, and with Thunderbolt 3, you have all the flexibility of the chaining. If I have a Drobo 5D3 and I want to switch to this, can I just move my drives over, or how do I get my data from one Drobo to another? Yeah, if you have a Drobo 5D3, you can just take the drive straight out and put them into the 8D. In fact, you can do that all the way back to the Gen 2 Drobo. So Gen 2, Drobo S, all those older 5 bay Drobos, you can just take the drive straight out and put them into the 8D. One of the things that I've said about Drobos that a lot of folks don't understand is I kind of view the hard drives as like changing the tires. The car is going to outlive the tires. and so you can make sure to cycle the drives in a Drobo or trust when it tells you that something has failed to put a new one in. Um, so theoretically, the Drobo should last for an extreme long time, longer than the hard drive itself, right? Like this is an investment and we're really just putting fuel in the tank or fresh tires on the car. Yeah, the Drobo will outlast the drives for sure. Uh, you, you're probably gonna keep the Drobo until uh, you, you, there's new generations that are even faster or do something else that you want uh, and then very commonly, the older Drobo is moved down, become a backup for the, whatever the new Drobo is. That's very common. So what else have people um, been asking for that you think this product will help them? Uh, well, people have asked for the larger capacities than, than the five bays can offer. So obviously the eight bays help you. We have an accelerator cache at the back on this Drobo, which is a standard two and a half inch SSD. Uh, so it replaces the MSAT on the bottom of the five bays. And what's the cache for? The cache gives you a read acceleration. So if you're loading things like Lightroom catalogs or things like that, then they tend to have a lot of small files that are very hard for hard drives to handle. Uh, the SSDs just take care of those uh, very, very easily. You don't have to go to the expense of filling with all SSDs, and uh, you also get the capacity of the, of the large hard drives. This one right here has got 12 terabyte drives in it, so that's an enormous capacity. It's 96 terabytes of raw capacity in this little box. But I remember I was told all I would ever need was 500 megabytes for the rest of my life. Yeah, that's not really true. <laughs>